Venice versus Distro Kid versus TuneCore versus CD Baby. Peace. What's happening, good people? This gift here for pay us no mind. And this is a comparison video. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to start off by looking at what separates Venice from the competition. Then we're going to dive into a head to head where we look at price, how many uh, releases you get to distribute, how many artists, things of that nature. Now, as always, if you want to use any of these distributors, we have links to discounts in the description box so you can check that. This video is sponsored by Mogul, where you can make sure you're collecting all of the royalties you owe and not just the ones you know about. See how much you're earning from every revenue source across your entire catalog. Connect any distributor or royalty collection entity to automatically pull in reports. Conduct your own audits by comparing and contrasting royalties for songs across revenue sources to spot discrepancies and see where money's getting stuck to the gum under the table. Mogul. I use it, so should you. Now, to summarize what it means to scale in business. In business, scaling means growing a company so that its revenue increases faster than its costs. So a business doesn't want the cost of providing a service to exceed its revenue. And at $20 annually, or even $50 annually for unlimited releases, it isn't scalable for digital distributors to provide a high level of service. So you get accused of streaming fraud or copyright infringement, you're guilty because that is the most scalable resolution. It costs them nothing to ignore you. Personalized marketing support, guidance, insight, etc., all unscalable. So you get a blog offering generalized tips instead of a representative. A higher level of service gets reserved for artists with exceptional performance and it's not even advertised so artists that don't get it, don't expect it, or even aspire to qualify for it. Now, the most adopted alternative solution to the scale problem is to require artists submit an application where they look for reasons why they can expect exceptional performance to qualify you for distribution. Now, rather than shortchanging you on services or restricting access through an application, Venice charges a rate that's scalable for it to provide a high level of service. What it comes down to is whether Venice delivers on its offer. So let's dive into Venice's offer. What does Venice offer that the other distributors don't? So one thing you got is concierge support. Now, this grants you the ability to schedule live chats with support representatives like Donovan, a real person you can chat with live and ask questions and get problems resolved and things of that nature. They also offer one-on-one -on -one, 30 minute personalized consultations with industry experts. And this includes a deep dive into your current position, challenges, and industry opportunities. Now, these one-on-one -on -one sessions aren't just an opportunity to get feedback and on like your plan or your strategy, but they're also opportunities to build relationships with professionals that can aid you in your career down the line. They also do weekly workshops and feedback sessions where you get to play your music for some of these same people and work to map out an effective marketing strategy. Head to head, price. Distro Kid charges about $40 annually. TuneCore charges about $50 annually. CD Baby charges $10 per release. And Venice charges about $500 annually. Percentage of revenue you get to keep Distro Kid, TuneCore, and Venice all allow you to keep 100%. CD Baby allows you to keep 91%. So they take 9% of your revenue. Stores, everybody distributes to an unlimited large inventory of stores, with the exception of Distro Kid, which has a somewhat limited number of stores. New stores and getting your music automatically sent. To new stores, DistroKid requires an upgrade to Store Maximizer, which charges $8 per release annually. So every year, you have to pay an additional $8 for each release in order to have it automatically added to new stores. 
everybody else includes it with their service at this tier. Music video distribution, if you want to distribute your music videos, DistroKid spins that into a separate service called DistroVid, which you can pay an additional $99 annually for. TuneCore doesn't offer it. CD Baby offers it if you advance to a certain level. And Venice has it included with their standard distribution service. Transaction fees, DistroKid caps at a dollar per withdrawal, TuneCore caps at 25 cent per withdrawal, CD Baby, there's no transaction fee if you get your money through direct bank transfer, but if you get it through PayPal, the transaction fees are uncapped and Venice's transaction fees are uncapped. Now, payment thresholds, which is the amount that you have to reach before you can withdraw a payment with DistroKid, it's about a dollar. With TuneCore, a dollar. With CD Baby, it's $10. And with Venice, it's 50. Now with Content ID, DistroKid, again, requires an upgrade. You have to pay $5 per single per year or $14 per album per year, plus 20% of your revenue. TuneCore just takes 20% of your revenue and CD Baby takes 30% of your revenue. Venice allows you to keep 100% of your content ID revenue. Split pay, if you are working with collaborators and you want to cut them in on your streaming and digital download sales and things of that nature, with DistroKid, your collaborators would be required to pay $10 annually for their own subscription in order to collect their share of the royalties. With TuneCore, they will be required to pay $8 annually for their own subscription to collect their share of the royalties. With CD Baby, it's not offered at all, so it's not a service they offer. And Venice, it's free for collaborators to collect their share, nor do they charge you or anything to that effect. You can see barcodes free with DistroKid, but if you want to bring your own, you cannot do that. DistroKid doesn't allow you to bring your own UPC barcode. TuneCore, free, and you can bring your own. Same thing with CD Baby and the same thing with Venice. Now, when it comes to direct deals where there's a middleman taking a cut of the revenue that is passing between you and your digital distributors, all of these digital distributors have direct deals. Some deals with DistroKid aren't direct like their content ID, which is why there's a 20% fee there. But outside of that, seemingly all of their deals are also direct. Now, when it comes to red flags and their terms of agreement, the only one that has a red flag here is probably DistroKid. And it's not like it's something super egregious. It's just something worth noting. And that is that when companies like Facebook pay lump sums to digital distributors, bonuses, things of that nature, that it's the responsibility of the digital distributor to disperse between the artists that they represent, but the money has not been directly addressed to any particular artist. DistroKid has a clause that allows them to keep that money. They are not required to distribute that money to the artists they represent. Now, if you want more insight into each of these distributors, you can check out the videos that I have on DistroKid, TuneCore, CD Baby, and Venice on the channel or check out the guide to digital distribution collection on the payusnoman.info website. Now there are links to discounts on these services in the description box. So make sure you check that out. If you plan to use any of these services, as always, y'all can hit me up at payusnoman on Instagram, at payusnoman on Twitter, payusnoman at gmail.com. This is GIF signing off, payusnoman. Peace, good people. One.